Let me, let me, let me expand a little bit about what the Lord is saying to us today. So, brothers and sisters in Christ, by the power of the Holy Spirit, I want to congratulate and welcome you all, your family, to this new and the last month of the year. As we continue to celebrate and calibrate the overflowing joy of the Lord. Because this overflowing joy is not contingent on what you have. But it is contingent on who have you. Amen. The Lord says to remind someone right here that after all the fears, the anxieties, the, the perplexities, and the expectations throughout the year, here comes the grand finale. For those who are ready to receive the last minute miracle, here's your time. I, I want some more time. For those who are ready to receive the last minute miracle, here is your time. I receive it. Somebody say, I receive it. I receive it. Now the question you may say, man of God, but prophet, bishop, wait a minute. How are you sure? Eh? How are you sure that I will receive my last minute miracle? Somebody asked me the question. Say, man of God, how are you sure? I cannot say something that I don't know. How are you sure, man of God, that I will still receive my last minute miracle? The Lord show me Ecclesiastes 7 verse 8. Look at the board. Ecclesiastes 7 verse 8. Better is the end of a thing <laughs> than the beginning thereof. And the patient in spirit is better than the proud in spirit. And the Holy Ghost says, no, that, that's not the end. Go to Job chapter 8 verse 7. Though that beginning was small, <laughs> Yet, the latter end shall greatly increase. I don't know who I came to prophesy to. Prophecy. The Lord said, tell someone today uh, that better is the end of a thing than the beginning thereof. Though you are beginning from January, though you are beginning from February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November was small. Because said this last month, this last month of December, you shall be greatly increased in your life, in your home, in your business, everywhere around you, you shall be greatly increased in the name of Jesus. Oh, your beginning was small. I want to let you know to leave. I don't know how you started January, but I'm telling you, if you raise your expectation, I guarantee you that God said you will finish well and this December, it shall be your month of overflowing joy in your life, in your business, on your job, in your marriage. Those are overflowing joy. I know right now, there are people right now, they know your beginning, but what they don't know, they don't know your end. Because I'm here to prophesy to someone right here. I say, get ready. I say, get ready. Somebody is about to receive the mighty hand of God. And the miracle you have been waiting for is about to knock at your door. If that's you, open your mouth and give God a shout of praise. I told you I didn't come here to preach. I came to prophesy. The Bible say that the, it's a better is the end of a thing than the beginning thereof. I hear God say this December you will greatly increase. You will greatly increase. If I hear your aim, you will double increase. Uh, lift your hands. Therefore, I prophesy, prophesy in this last month, this last month of December, God is about to give somebody here the last minute miracle. I said the last minute miracle that will give your enemies a sudden shock. 
Are you hearing me, somebody? I don't know why I came here to, but God is saying, don't worry no more. Don't cry no more. Just give me some praise. Just exalt me. Bible say, if I be exalted, I will draw all men unto you. I will draw favor. I will draw grace. I will draw mercy. All I need for somebody to exalt me. I give you praise. If that's you, open your mouth. I give God some praise. Shake out the body. We receive it from the Lord. Oh, we receive it. I told you here. God is saying that I will give you the last minute miracle that will give your enemies a sudden shock. But at the same time, it will guarantee your overflowing joy. Clap your hands and give God praise. It means what God will use to destroy your enemies, God will use to deliver you. I said, what God will use to bring them down, God will use to lift you up. That's why you have to give God praise right now. I came here to encourage somebody. God said, you better get ready. The heavens are open. The heavens are open. And there's going to be a manifestation Manifestation of manifold joy in your life, in your family, on your job. If that should shall power, touch your neighbor. Say, neighbor, get ready for your last minute miracle. If you feel you seen God yet, you've not seen nothing yet. Because I hear God say, before December 31st, there'll be great testimonies. There'll be mighty testimonies. You heard other people testify, but your time has come to testify. Your time has come to give God praise. Your time has come. Hear me, oh child of God. Throughout, the, throughout January, you have been clapping for people, but December, they will clap for you. They will clap for you. If that should shut I'm the one. I'm the one. Lift your hands. I want to understand this. Why am I saying get ready for the last minute miracle? Hear me, oh child of God. There are some people who started January, some started February, some started March, some started April, even May, June, July. But I'm telling you, God is saying to you today, they never finish. They never finish. They start, but they never finish. I prophesy that in spite of all the evil plots, in spite of all the evil plans, all the evil schemes, all the evil agenda, oh God, of your haters, of your envious folks, of your jealous family, family, friends, that you are your household. I say you are your household. I say you are your household shall finish well with an overflowing joy in the name of Jesus 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 you shall finish well in Jesus name touch your number say I will finish well I don't care who is that witch in your village, who is that witch in Guyana, who is that witch on your job. I guarantee you, if you're only the anointed today, you must finish well. God said to tell you, I came here to prophesy to let you know all your enemies have failed. As far as you enter December, you must finish well. I said you shall finish well. Your prophet said, I must finish well. Oh, hear me now. Because it's your mouth of overflowing joy, the Spirit of God is saying, I heard clearly, is saying, get ready for the sudden move of God. Amen. Say, neighbor, neighbor. Get, ready get ready for the sudden move of God. Move of God. Unlimited, power. Unlimited power. So, what is God saying to you right now? When you hear the words, Sunday. Mm. So last Sunday. God said, tell the people as you enter December, this is going to be a season of many suddenlies. 
of many suddenlies of many suddenlies there shall be a sudden healing your healing will manifest suddenly suddenly your breakthrough will break forth I say suddenly your financial favor a miracle will come true I say suddenly a new door for success will be opened up for you I say suddenly a divine connection will take place I say suddenly the web of deliverance will flow out of your belly so I say suddenly just suddenly just suddenly just suddenly shut overflowing jaw are you getting the word amen God say it's your it's your season. Listen to me, you don't so, so you get it yet. I'm telling you in the book of Ecclesiastes three, but I say there's a season for everything. I say waiting upon the Lord, my sister. God said, tell the people you have just entered into your season of suddenly, 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 suddenly there'll be a knock on your door, suddenly there'll be a breakthrough, suddenly there'll be a favor, suddenly somebody is about to promote you. Suddenly somebody will buy a new car. I said suddenly somebody we have a new house. I said suddenly somebody will come out of a year kind of So I had a suddenly I came to tell someone today you have been waiting for too long but there's going to be a sudden breakthrough, a sudden breaking forth, a sudden favor, a sudden joy I said God said if you have been waiting better get ready I hear God say suddenly shall be part of your life every single day from now to 24th of December you are going to receive sudden miracles sudden joy, sudden breakthrough, sudden happiness, sudden favors, I say sudden promotion, they will call you even when they feel like they don't call you because God says it's your season of suddenly, come on, open your mouth and give God praise. Somehow suddenly, just suddenly, just suddenly, just suddenly. So today, today because of time, Told you today just for prophecy today because of time i'm going to just look at the revelation contained in verse 28 of luke chapter one that we just read in the coming days we shall examine 29 and 30 but today let me just focus on just that one verse alone and i'm close very powerful verse bible says and the angel came in unto her and said hey thou art Highly favored, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women. That word hail means peace be unto you. It means peace be what? Unto you. It means may you enjoy all the possible blessings in this season of good tidings. It that's for you. Clap your hands and give God some praise. That was a, a sudden salutation to an inconsequential I don't have time to preach this word to somebody that was, was of no value in the society a girl that had no place huh. a girl that had no attraction Mom. but still heaven yes. greeted her can I say to someone right now? Yes. It's not about your intelligence. Come on now. <sighs> it's not about your good looks. Yes. When God decides to favor you. I don't know who you are, but when God decides to bless you, when God decides say your time has come, I'm telling you right now, there's going to be a sudden salutation. Even those who never wanted to greet you, they will greet you by force, by fire. You know why? Because there's a favor about to locate you. If that you shut, I'm the one Lord. So the angel bypassed everybody around town. <laughs> Get ready right now. Yes. The angel didn't stop at nobody's house. The angel came to Mary. Amen. 
And the angel saluted Mary, say, Hey, Mary, it means peace be unto you. And then the angel went further to announce it. It says, You are highly favored. Not favored, but you are highly what? It means that's to say he was telling her in advance has been chosen in preference to other women. Come on. When you are highly favored, it means you have been chosen in preference. Amen. Mm. In preference, it means others are there. Others are waiting in line, even somewhere better than you, so to say. But still, God chose you. Are you here? Still, God said that He will deliver you. But still, God said that you are going to be blessed. Hear me, oh child of God. I don't know who you are. I don't care what crowd you are. But when God decides to bless you, God said you are highly favored. Not just favor with me. That one highly favored is simply say oh he said receive double portion yes. highly favored it means receive what double portion it means when others are getting little by little your own will be doubling your own will multiply i hear the lord says this december there shall be a double blessing for you your family your household if that should lift your hands double blessing double when you are highly favored, it's different from being favored. But God said you are highly with me. You receive twice. I say twice of what others are receiving. I hear me somebody. If that you shut on the wind, shut on the wind, shut on the wind. You are highly favored. Hear me, somebody. The angel is saying to Mary, the angel is saying to Jewel, put your name right there. The angel is saying to Mary, the angel is saying to Rashid, the angel is saying to King, the angel is saying to Malon, put your name right there. The angel is saying to someone right here that this month of December, you are not just favored, but you are highly, you are highly, you are highly. It means I guarantee you, you are receiving twice, twice 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 as much as your neighbors twice as much as your colleagues twice as much as your friends twice as much as your family members let me say twice 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 i won't settle for less when there's much more for me god said lift your hands i said i receive favor You are walking out of here highly favored that when you go out of here when you enter your job tomorrow when you enter your business tomorrow you are twice favored when others are saying oh see what god has done you've been dancing two times you just come and say see what god has done for me double i receive it are you following me amen are you following me yes are you following me Twice as much as others. It's like I said, he said, receive double portion. Amen. Stop somebody say, receive double portion. Receive double, double portion. portion. I call it somebody said, receive double portion. Receive double portion. Give him a half, I say, receive double portion. Receive double portion. And then the way he says, the Lord is with thee. The Lord is with thee. It means you are about to receive the most confusing proof of God's peculiar favor towards you. Amen. When the angel said to Mary, the Lord is with thee. He was saying, Mary, you are about to receive the most convincing proof that God is with you. I hear me somebody. This month of December, I said, God is with you. God is with you. I said, 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 God is with you. It means, it means you will receive a convincing proof that God is very a day for you. When it happens, you will know it was not by power. It was not by might. Not because you are in 
intelligence. You will know it is by grace. Do you know why? Because God is saying, when, so when the angel announced to Mary, they said, the Lord is with thee. He was saying, Mary, you are about to receive the most confusing proof that nobody would deny that this is not of God. That's why sometimes God will allow some things to happen. So when it happens, that nobody will, nobody will say it was them help you. You will know it was by God. You will know it was not my sister, not even my pastor. It was my God. I know my God is able to do a Sydney abundantly above all I can ever think or ask. Do you know why? Because we serve a God that has a final say. He has a final word. Hear me, old child of God. Open your mouth and give God praise. Because God said this December, you shall receive proof. You shall receive proof that he is God. I know right now they are laughing at you. They are mocking at you. But God is saying, you better get ready because somebody here is a power to overcome the enemies. If they should show power. We receive in the name of Jesus. Are you following me? Amen. Thou are highly favored. Thou are highly favored. Blessed now. It said, Blessed are thou amongst women. I'll close with this. Blessed are thou amongst women. Uh -huh. Blessed are what? Thou amongst, amongst women. women. Vice to say, you are going to receive favor beyond all others. Or you are the most happy of women. Let me say to you today, blessed are thou amongst your colleagues. Blessed are thou amongst the people in Guyana. Blessed are thou amongst your family members. Blessed are thou in your marriage. Blessed are thou in the marketplace. God is saying today, you are going to receive favor beyond all others. I don't know who you are right now, but I can guarantee you, that's why I told you don't compare yourself with other people because your favor coming is a power that will be greater than that of your enemies. That's why God said, maintain who you are, be who you are, because your breakthrough will be bigger than the rest of them. If that you shall power, if that you shall power, if that you shall power, blessed are thou amongst women, blessed are thou amongst women. God is sent to tell someone right now, lift your hands. God said, This month of December, because you are going to be blessed among the rest of them, God is sent, is about to single you out. I say, It's about to single you out for a specific blessing in this December. I hear God say, when God, when the angel went to Mary and said, blessed are thou amongst women, he was saying, Mary, you don't worry, don't worry about the crowd, don't worry about the crowd. God said, when I come, I will single you out. I will single you out. God is about to single you out of the crowd to bless you right on that job, right in your marriage, right in Guyana. God is about to single someone out. If that should shut, I'm the one. I'm the one. We receive in the name of Jesus. Why would the angel leave heaven? and go to a young girl that is of inconsequential value. In the eyes of people, she has no value. In the eyes of people, she has no beauty. But when God looks at you, he looks at you differently. That's why you don't have to worry about people's opinion about you. Because when God decided to bless you, he said to Mary, thou art highly favored amongst women. That's why I can tell you, I don't care how much crowd is around me. I don't care who's after me or who's before me. When God decides it's my 
taunt, I guarantee you, you are going to rise above the rest of them. You are going to move forward. You are going to be the head and not the tail. For the Lord says, Blessed are thou amongst women. It means, therefore, when God single you out, it's for a specific blessing. That's why in December, you have to give God praise. Because someone right here is about to be located. I prophesy that heaven is about to locate you. Heaven is about to locate your family. Heaven is about to locate your business. I say, Heaven is about to locate your home in the name of Jesus. Do you know why I'm saying this? Do you know why I'm saying this? Many of you don't understand. No problem is too big for God. No problem is too big for God's divine intervention. And no person is too small for God's divine attention. Amen. Hear me. Mary was too small for people to look at. But when God decided to pay you attention, hear me, I don't care who don't like you, don't care who don't want to see you, but when God decides to pay you attention, I guarantee you that God is saying, no matter who you are, you are not too small to get God's attention. I know right now, people feel that you are nobody. In the eyes of God, you are somebody. In the eyes of God, you are the apple of his eyes. In the eyes of God, you were made in the image and likeness of God. And therefore, if you can take up the boss of the air, he will take care of you. Come on, somebody say power. Power. We receive in the name of Jesus.